Hello, this is my Lodge. I'm making this video for my herb production practicum, and this video will be about American Spike Nard. Aurelia racemosa, or also commonly known as American Spike Nard, or Life of Man, or Petit Morial, is a ornamental plant in the Aureliaceae family native to the United States and Canada, basically North America, and it's a herbaceous plant, one to two meters tall, and it can grow up to six feet tall and six feet tall by four feet wide. Its native range includes most of the eastern United States and northern uh, southern part of Canada and northern part of Mexico. Aureliaceae family or the Jensen family. The genus is Aurelia and the species is Racemosa. This is the droop or the, the berries of the plant and these are the leaves. It has broad leaves serrated and it's more like simple pomade simple pomade leaf as the veins come from the same uh, from the center these are the berries they taste like it says um earthly flavor uh, earthly flavor and it's it's a mix between uh, blueberries and juniper berries. Here's another picture of the berries. It's mainly found in rich woodlands and in thickets. It's found in North America. It's six feet by four feet so six feet tall and four feet wide it's hardy to zone five and it's not for frost tender it flowers in June the flowers are hermaphrodite meaning it has both male and female organs and are pollinated by bees it's suitable uh, for light medium and heavy soils suitable pH acid neutral and basic soils so it's more like a general plant. It can grow in any type of soil condition and it can grow in full shade, deep woodland or semi shade, light woodland. So it's a ideal plant for landscapers um, to suggest to the to incorporate into their design. This plant can be grown in full shade. Most plants can't be grown in full shade and only few can gr be grown in semi shade it prefers moist soil the edible parts of the plant are the fruits leaves and root and these are the ailments it's supposed to treat and it's mainly used by herbalists and it says um, in the past North Americans native native in Native Americans used it to cure different kinds of ailments an easily grown plant succeeding in sun or part shade in any fertile soil prefers a deep good deep loam and a semi shaded position shady position it requires a sheltered position plants are hardier when grown in poorer soils Young growth in spring, even on mature plant, is frost tender, and so it's best to grow the plants in a position sheltered from early, early morning sun. It grows well near water, and the seeds has to go to through cold stratification, meaning it has to go through that cold period. This is spike nard, 
and this is Connecticut Botanical Society spike nard also called American spike nard Irelia racemosa family ginseng flowering time June to August it's a native so it got it has broad leaves so it can absorb more sunlight edible berries palatable berries as well here you can see this plant growing in almost uh, I believe it's near poor soil condition and here's the young plant so basically there are two kinds of um, varieties there's one racemosa and there's bicrinata so two subspecies found in the United States this is the other subspecies by Crinata. it's only found in five United uh, States in the United States and it's also can be found in Russia and India and in Europe but mostly it's found in North America It, it's a herbaceous form a large taproot to 20 cm tall erect pubescent green to purple here I think it's the root system so this is very suitable plant to be planted in for soil This is the stem, hairy stem, inflorescence, the flowers. It flowers from June to August. Habitat rich wooded slopes, ravines, moist ledges, and bluffs. It says it's mostly absent from the Great Plains region. More pictures. This plant was first described by Carl Linnaeus in 1753. Aurelia racemosa is a type species of genus Aurelia, which contains approximately 79 to 103 species and belongs to the family of Aureliaceae, Jensen family. It's a perennial, it can reach up to 6 feet tall, it produces umbels of white 5 stellate flowers from July to August. The perennials produce groups or berries. The plants form tap roots, deep tap roots. The perennial prefers the sunny to have shady situation on moist soil. The substrate should be loamy, sandy loamy or loamy clay soil. The pH between 6.5 and 7.5. They tolerate temperatures down to minus 35 degree centigrade or USDA zone 4 
The recommended planning distance is 1 meter. The perennials are best planted in groups of 3 to 5. And this is for the landscape people or the people or, or it's more like people who understand landscape. It says it needs little maintenance. The only maintenance work is removing the flower heads after flowering so that plant can grow more readily and here it says in New England American spike knot is usually found in mostly deciduous forests it's an attractive plant that bears showy clusters of purple red fruits in autumn Native Americans use an infusion of the roots to treat a wide variety of ailments including tuberculosis, coughs, colds, sore throat, menstrual problems, kidney problems, and lung diseases. They also apply the poultice of the root to burns, swelling, wounds, boils, sprained muscles, and broken bones. So it's more like a, it's a medicinal plant. The Native Americans used it, used this plant for different kinds of ailments. And here's a video about the plant made by New England Wildflower Society. Good morning and welcome to the New England Wildflower Society's Garden in the Woods. I'm Dan Jaffe, the plant sales coordinator. Come on inside and we're going to talk plants. So today we're talking about Aurelia racemosa. This is called the American Spike Nard. It's sometimes also called Life of Man. I've always been partial to the name Life of Man. It has a certain epic ring to it. I commonly find myself describing Aurelia as a perennial that wished to were a shrub. It's got a branching pattern to it that's reminiscent of a hobble bush. And while the fruits and the flowers on it are definitely interesting, it's the structure of the plant that brings me back to it again and again. Aurelia race mulsa berries are edible with a sweet yet earthy sort of flavor. Something like a combination between a blueberry and a juniper berry. Aurelia does best when planted in full sun to part shade with an average to moist soil. When happy, the plant will easily reach five feet tall. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned something new about this plant, Aurelia Race Mosa. Bye.